Good morning and welcome to the Wednesday Shave. Oh, I haven't gone over the top there then, have we? <laughs> the sun may not be shining outside, but it uh, certainly is in here. So I hope you're all well and happy and um, yeah, in good health and good spirits. Um, I want to ask you first, is the audio alright in here? Somebody said it was a lovely picture. I had a new camera and things. Well, I've had this camera for a good few months now. And the microphone is fairly new, but I have used it for a while, but they said it was a bit murky, the sound. So hopefully it's okay, let me know. Um, I hope so, I'm costing it. <laughs> okay, so what are we using? Well, I fancied coconut. Not to eat, but to shave. Tailorable Bond Street coconut shaving cream. Uh, unusual colour, you see that? Like a... Looks like a pinky colour, but I don't know if it's shown on camera as pinky, but it's a lovely scented soap. Good quality. I've gone ahead and created the lather, just to... Because um, I know these go on a bit sometimes, so I've already created the lather. It's the usual thing. Bit of cream in the bottom, wet the brush and away. And we're using the Grey Dog Synthetic. Beautiful wooden handle there, checkerboard. Nicknamed the Bishop. Look at that, like a meringue. I've done that joke, meringue. Okay, and razor, as you can see in the title. I'm going to use this big beast. Good friends, we are. Uh, the Merca Future. Don't see many people using this in videos, maybe for good reason, but I love it. Very aggressive razor. No matter what the setting, whatever the blade, you can feel that blade. Um, but it's always it's always worked well enough for me. Excuse me a minute. So uh, that's what we're using. The blade. If I can take this off. In there, you can't see this. It's the unbranded side. It's the King C Gillette, and this is its. Where are we? Number two. So this is the third use for this. Gillette C King C Gillette. In there. Uh, even though this is a very aggressive razor, many of you will know it's there's no overhang. It's a very safe razor that way. But look at the gaps there. You could drive through them. It's uh... <laughs> So we're going to start off, we're going to use it as an adjustable. So we're starting off on its most aggressive setting. If I can find the line. Number six. I heard Alice then. So we're going to start off with that. And we'll work our way down. So I'll just wet this thing. So how's uh, any plans for today? Are oh, you working or any shaves? Mid half look at this. We're halfway through the week. Yeah, it's a nice scent, good quality soap. And you need good protection with this razor. I think that'll do it. There we go. Father Christmas, baby. Right, we'll heat this Merca Future up. Oh, going. Have I made a mess? Oh, not too bad for me. There we go. So, Merca Future Chrome Edition. Highest setting, 6. King C Gillette, third use. Here we go.
very gentle. Whoa, straight through. You could go one pass with this, no messing. Excellent, look at that. And it cleans. What the hell? <laughs> Whisk, isn't it? And it cleans wonderfully. Quite a chunky head for under the nose. I manage, slowly. Nice and gentle. Not sure if you've been watching shaving videos uh, since they've become popular. Uh, there's a lot of shavers that are no longer doing videos now. There's a lot, I remember lots of shavers. Um, like Steve Farragher. Uh, he's okay, by the way. I got invited to his, uh, his radio page on Facebook. So he's okay. I knew he was. He's, he always works hard. He's always at something. Um, but he has, doesn't do many videos these days. Uh, but what I was saying is, in the beginning, when these when these videos when these razors come out, it was the the Merca Future and the R forty one, the uh, Mule, and everybody was oh they said oh don't have this it'll kill you make sure you've got a good life policy before you use it and make sure there's somebody in the house and, and people <laughs> people <laughs> were petrified to try and use them you know because they were always aggressive is it or, and they sort of like this trying to I'll be okay <laughs> no. anyway I got one of these off second hand off Steve and I talked to it straight away if you're showing respect no problem. But you must be in charge, confident. When you go to do one, you must go. No stopping and juddering. Confidence, you're in charge, nice and gentle. You'll be okay. That's only the first pass. Okay, lovely. Sorry if I jibber jabber. On. Beautiful slickness. Right, back to the bishop. If you're in work, how's it going? Do you find, uh, well, apart from this, in this country, anyway, social distancing and you have to wear masks in certain shops and buses and transport, but, um, I don't, thankfully. But uh, yeah, is it getting back to normal, do you think, apart from that? Uh, if you, you know, maybe you haven't been furloughed or you've, you've worked right through it like I have and many other people have. So it's no different really. One good thing I did notice with it was uh, the roads were so quiet and I was beautiful to drive. <laughs> but apart from that, uh, right, no glasses. Okay, so we're going to guess our way down. Take it down now to three. If I can find the number three. Yeah, I think that's three. So we're halfway now, on there, across the growth.
By the way, the blade is excellent. Third use in this razor. Beautiful. It feels. I can feel the blade, obviously, is exposure due to the aggressiveness. But, um, warm. It's very smooth and efficient at the moment. Very audio feedback e. Have I asked what shave of the day is? If you're shaving today. And another positive with wet shaving is if you come to Christmas time, birthdays, You'll always want something and you want a brush you've seen. If you make a list, I'd like that brush, I'd like that soap, I'd like that aftershave, I'd like those blades. Um, so it makes it far easier for family then. Excellent, wow. We'll, uh, gorgeous scent, it's not a strong in your face scent for me anyway. But I'm someone who likes hot chilies and hot food, so the, <laughs> maybe it's not a fair call, but it's 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 a it's there, it's a it's a present scent. Um, and it's very nice. Coconut, very nice. Sometimes I really fancy you know when you smell so yeah, I want some of that today. Third application, brush. Beautiful. Synthetic. And that's just how I like lather for me. Some people like it wetter, it's more slicker for them, but this has always worked. For, we're all different. It always works for me. And if you're new to this way of shaving, another question I have sometimes, am I getting my lather wrong? It doesn't feel right and this and the other. You've got to play about in between your shaves, lather a bowl up, make it thick. Uh, and then when you come to shaving, try a thick lather. Then try a wetter, so add more water, a wetter lather. And you'll find, you'll think, oh, that feels better. So you'll know then whether you like the pasty thicker cream or soap or a, a wetter sort of thinner you know because because your skin all our skins are different and our water systems are different hard soft you know um whatever so here we go against the growth we'll take it to number one now and i've always enjoyed using an adjustable as an adjustable uh, but it would help if I could, because it's chrome, I can't see. So, uh, I don't think I'm far off there. I'm sure somebody will point out if I'm wrong. I can't see a thing. I'm hoping that's number one. <laughs> Here we go, against the growth. Thank you. And once one starts, oh, I'm gonna join in. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Were you barking it? I don't know. Whoa, whoa. <laughs> Mm. 
very light touch and you can still hear even with a good slickness you can still hear it cutting and if you're new again welcome to the channel um, some people take to wet shaving quicker than others but have patience bear with it it will be worth it in the end but um, one thing I would say which I know is true um, and I'm no expert by the way because the channel you see the views and I do twice a week I'm just like you are but I've gained experience over the years and I've learned I'm still learning I make mistakes I cut myself uh, that's due to filming and talking rubbish half the time <laughs> but um, something I do know is true when you come from cartridge razor and I'm sorry to repeat myself to regular people watch me to a razor of any aggression a double edged razor or single edged razor but double edged razor no pressure don't use it as you would a cartridge that's where people go wrong they shave and they think oh that's so nice and gentle patience three passes if it feels painful two passes until you get used to it there's no rush patience will pay off Now this is where you might struggle sometimes on this bit under the nose but I couldn't just let it go I have to if I can't reach it I'll get another razor because that's something that does my head in if I can feel any stray whisker here or here with my tongue during the day and it'll annoy me <laughs> and here and especially there Got it. And that's it, right. Keep it on number one. Because we all know what's coming next. We're coming towards the end of the show, baby. So, three, two, one. Three, die in, in Welsh. Pick up time, baby. I was going to say something else then, right? Very, very slick. Very slick. I'm not sure there'd be much there really to pick up and you notice smooth handle as long as there's no soap on it no problem for grip for me Really enjoying this.
sound. Superb. Cold water rinse. Leave it wet because we're using the alum today. I'm not telling you to leave it wet, I'm going to leave it wet. This can sting sometimes, but that feels lovely, I must admit. I just want to leave that. So that's what we look like. We rinse off. Son has got his hat on. Welcome to Mr. Towel. <laughs> oh, it's lovely. So there we go. That's what God, that's bright. That's what we look like. Is that too bright there? Hang on. Close, smooth, and wonderful. So, now aftershave. I don't have coconut aftershave, so I'm gonna use some classic aftershave. Aqua Velva, classic ice blue. Gorgeous scent, real classic scent. Oh yeah, just. Oh, it's beautiful, come on, a bit more. Always wipe the remnants under your arms. That's what my dad always did. That's why I do that. If you see, if you see me do this, I think, oh, you'd like it. Because I'm talking, because that's where he lives now. He's up up in the heavens there with my mother. So uh, then I'm going to use this. This excellent stuff. I love this. I got this from Home Bargains. Coconut oil, I think it was, yeah. Um, I keep it in the fridge because uh, otherwise it goes to liquid. No problem, but I'd rather it solid because it's in the fridge, it stays in a solid sort of cream, shall we say? Quite hard cream, so you have to. I use my nail just to like this. I'm sorry, I'm sure <laughs> you know what I mean, right? Gorgeous scent. When you put it on, it feels quite oily, you'll shine, especially with lights on you. But very good for you, very good. Unless you've got oily skin maybe, but uh, coconut oil is very good. And that feels, well, stunning. Really happy with that. Very happy with that. 
so Merca Future Chrome Edition we've used on three settings most aggressive number six with the growth first pass second pass number three across the growth third pass down to number one against the growth and the same for pickup time baby King C Gillette third use superb felt in there I could feel the blade but it was felt it felt efficient and smooth uh, very light touch we've used Taylor of Old Bond Street coconut shaving cream my own red bowl we've used the grey dog synthetic uh, brush named, nicknamed the bishop we've rinsed with cold water we used alum oil alum. classic aqua velva uh, classic ice blue beautiful aftershave and scent and um, we've gone with this coconut oil for hair and scalp face and body and I think I got it from uh, I'm sure it was home bargains in the UK so um, it'll last for years that amount of times I use it anyway. as I say I'm shining now within 20 odd minutes they'll be gone if not for less but I look worse because the lights on me and that is it so have a great rest of the week sorry to keep you I've gone on um, really enjoyed it uh, I've got a new razor kindly sent by a viewer and some blades kindly sent by another viewer in another country um, so I'm using them on Sunday um, yeah I'm talking about it then so many thanks have a great week stay safe stay happy great shaves see you on Sunday all the best <laughs>